I call, I call, I be calling Brian like, I'm talking about, bro, we call Brian like, Brian got down my mama or the child. Brian, can you go down there to the jail and make sure that the people end up checking on my brother because, you know, my brother asthma is so fucked up that, like, he have a breathing problem. Like, when he sleep, he'll stop breathing in his sleep and then he'll start back. His asthma is that bad. So, I hope that all of them is... Everybody is checking on my brother like they supposed to while y'all got him on lockdown for 23 fucking hours like he a for real menace to society. Like, who does that? What jail does that? Like, I don't think jail for... Y'all, a lot of people need to be in jail, but I don't think... You shouldn't do punish people like that. 23 hours? 23 hour lockdown. You only get one hour. They don't even get him 30, a, a good 30 minutes to talk on the phone. Hey, yeah, I'm saying like everybody be trying to get me to come out. Like, come on, come out, come to my house, come this, come that, and it's just like, bro, I understand everybody want me. I want, I understand everybody want me. Just like want me to act like I'm like I can't even fake act like I'm just like I'm happy or none of that shit, bro. Like my family, my family is in jail. Like all 28, free every last one of them. Stop listening to all this bad news, bad ass blog shit, all that reporting ass shit. Free my game, man. I miss my family. I don't have friends. I don't have friends. I don't have nobody for real. Like, I don't hang with people. No, I'm not going to cry back. I don't have, I ain't, I don't hang with people. You got to text me, twin. Yeah, they want to do him like that. Yeah, they want to do him like that. They want to do him like that because who he is. And then they want to get me, though. I swear to God, like, I'm not, I, I, that's why I, that's why I ain't been on the internet because you can't even, you can't even, uh, freedom of speech, that you're getting arrested for freedom of speech. You can't say, you can't say one little word or they going to think that you're, that's people being threatening it and people being this and that and that and that, but. Every time somebody get locked up, oh, I don't know who that is. I, personally, I don't know your music. Personally, I don't know who you are. Personally, um, I don't care who you are. You know who the fuck I am. You got the camera people in here. You got TMZ. You got, got down, uh, Channel 11, Channel 5, Channel 46, Channel 9. All the new people in here. Literally. When everybody else went to jail, they ain't had the new people in there. They ain't had the new people at that court. It's court hearing it and bond hearing and shit and all that type of madness and shit. But, yeah, whatever. You know how that shit go. Niggas talking crazy. Somebody need to watch my mouth. Oh, that funny part that you did on your little thing. I be just, every time I be finna say I go on your page, I don't really know you like that, but I go on your page and just be laughing because you funny and fuck. Like when I say you funny, you funny. She told me, I said, why are you talking about family being then? Oh, y'all be irritating me so bad. First, you want to know what's going on. And then you want to know, is my brother okay? And then you want to say, so why are you talking about family business? Bitch, I never said nothing about family business. I said what the jail is doing. Shut the fuck up. Shut up, oh, you the devil. Yo, and then he just like, yo, y'all don't even believe me. The whole Atlanta, when I say this shit, the whole Atlanta, Atlanta is the most hated state. This motherfucker is the most hated. Like, you would think that because we from Atlanta, like, your city will be with you? No. These motherfuckers, I, like, they hate us. Like, they, they, they really happy that my brother's in jail. But half of them that hate us, I promise you, he done took care of. He done got down, gave their family song, done gave them song, done did something for them. Like, and that's what's so crazy about it. I'm going to just be quiet, though. Because all this shit a conflict of interest if you ask me. Same way back then, 2015. But I'm going to just be quiet. 
Um, so the case I think she's referring to in uh, 2015, uh, Young Thug's home in Sandy Springs uh, was uh, subject to a police raid where cops found uh, weapons and illegal drugs. Um, but that case was dismissed uh, because, again, it was uh, an illegal uh, search without a warrant. Oh, what's up, YouTube? What's going on? So today we're going to be talking about um, Young Thug's uh, sister uh, going on live, giving her thoughts on um, his case and uh, missing him. And also she mentions, um, you know, the passing of Lil' Kid and uh, a small altercation he had with Lil Uzi Vert and also YSL snitching allegations. Then you got op ad niggas all on my page and shit. I was being cool enough to let y'all watch my shit, but now I blocked y'all bitch ass nigga. Now come follow me from a fake page. All that extra shit you be talking about, this and that and that and it. Hey man, do it. When none of this shit be going on, if niggas know how to do their interviews and shut the fuck up. They don't know what. Man, bro. This shit's so funny. It's not funny because they said that my brother don't got to be in there. But when this shit, when when this shit done, when this shit all said and done, all you little stupid ass motherfuckers, all you little bitch ass hoes and niggas, you bitches starting, I don't see that shit. You you puss ass niggas think I don't see that shit on y'all in that page. I mean, on y'all in the little, in the comments, in the little thing. You think we don't see that shit? I don't don't nigga get past me. Don't nigga get by me. I promise I see it. Cut off. Dead docket. Gone on on, ain't coming back around us ever again in life. No, Atlanta is the most hating city ever. See, they don't got Umfu, Umfu not on lockdown. How they got Lil Jeff on lockdown? Lil Jeff is on lockdown, so Lil Jeff can't um. So, uh, oh, I already come in my bed. What I was saying? What I was saying? Oh, yeah, don't got. I can talk to Lorraine. Lorraine call. On phone. I don't call him on phone. I call him Lorraine. I talked to Lorraine today. I talked to Umfun today. Umfun call. Look at Ryan. Ryan, what we doing? Ryan, I, I swear to God, I was on my way out the door. Ryan, my stomach, bro, that shit. I don't talk about nobody on my live because I don't want nobody to try to make it seem like we talking about how Clark County got my brother out there in a liberty-ass cell with a fucking bump and a, a dirty-ass toilet, no fucking window, and a light, and they never turn the light off at all. Okay, 23 hour lockdown. He only get to come out for one hour. He used the phone for 30 minutes and he take a shower and eat for the other 30 minutes. Okay. Umfun is not in that type of they don't have Umfun like that. Umfun can talk call whenever he feel like it. Everybody is okay. Still baby. I love you, still baby. Everybody is okay, y'all. I talk to everybody. Everybody is fine. Everybody is in good spirits. Everybody in good spirit. Everybody is okay. Well, my dog. Pa. Papa. When I say I talk to everybody, bro, that means I talk to everybody. Stop asking questions like that. 
Yes, I talk to everybody. Everybody is okay. Everybody is good. Everybody is good. Everybody is great. Everybody is okay. When I say everybody, I mean everybody. Everybody is okay. Everybody is good. I talk to every last one of them. Everybody is okay. Everybody is good. I'm going to go see my brother. It's so crazy how they got their visitation shit. This shit is so weak. Like, that shit just not for... Uh, ooh, excuse me. I oh, know. I gotta see. You gotta wait to be accepted. You gotta wait to be accepted. Um, for visitation, I did that shit three days ago, but they still haven't accepted me yet because they haven't turned green yet. So I don't know when I get to see him. But Dora went and seen him yesterday. Dora went and seen him yesterday. He okay, y'all. He good. I promise y'all he good. Yeah, he right, Wop. Well, I was like, look, I'm going to give me some braids. I don't even know why I got my lashes done because I've been crying on motherfuckers all the way out and I've been pulling them out. Stop asking me bullshit and questions like that. Don't don't never get on my, I block you, bro, but you, you probably don't know no better. So I'm going to let you slide with that one. But don't ever get on my live and, and be doing all that. I got to do that, um, I got to do, I got, man, yeah, I got to do that video over with. I don't like that video. I don't like the video, so that's why we never put it out. I ain't nobody telling on no fucking body, bro. Y'all listening to that bullshit, bro. That's why I don't be wanting to get on here like this. So I don't be wanting to tell nobody shit. Because, like, y'all going to listen to that, bro. The government is doing that shit to, to make the, each other mad at each other, bro. Like, relax, bro. Like, just relax. I'm going to block you. If somebody else say something about that shit, um, you're going to get blocked. Um, So I believe she may be referring to some allegations. i seen some rumors online that some YSL uh, members were snitching and also um, there was a uh, prosecutor saying uh, saying that um, there was YSL members who were afraid of Young Thug for some reason. Um, so that may be uh, where the snitching allegations uh, came from. I'm not playing. I'm block. I'm going to go on my other phone and block you for like from my from my page and out from like permanent. You won't be able to get back on here. Y'all be weird. Y'all be really weird. And y'all just go for that shit. Like, the pictures and the, and the names and the, and the shit that they put on the internet. That shit I ain't even. Don't I need the pictures and the names that go with the pictures and the faces that y'all putting on it that they putting on there? That shit is like really weird. Like, the internet is so undefeated. I hate the internet. I hate the internet. I hate the blogs. I hate all this shit, bro. And y'all just run with that shit well y'all don't know no better because if i read something i ain't gonna really run with it but i'm most definitely gonna be like oh god oh that what happened <gasps> but i ain't gonna just run with it but y'all will literally run with that shit like straight run with it the internet especially that little lawyer guy he was saying um he was sitting in the back of um when we was in court he was sitting in the back of all and i kept looking at him y'all i was like he looked familiar so when the, when, the, when the judge was like, we're going to do a recess, um, he needed a little break. I'm like, ain't you the guy for Instagram? Dude, what that be doing all the little updates on the uh, the people? And he was like, yeah, I'm him. I was like, I knew that was you. Man. I was like, do you stand on there? And he was like, no, I flew down here just to come to court. I was like, bro, you flew down here just to go to court on this case? He was like, yeah, because I have to do the updates. Like, I'm the one that do the updates and shit like that. And I was like, wow. Like, your job is your job. I'm proud of you. Well, 
when it's nothing to be told. Rest in peace, little bit, and, 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 and Christian. Rest in peace, the key. Rest in peace, the little key. Rest in peace to my people, man. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, why would you have your eye like that, bitch? Because I was calling you where my F01s at. And I hope you got me the F01 with the with the sign Air Force. And the last part of the uh, video is where she mentioned a uh, missing little kid who was like a brother to her um, and an altercation um, they had with um, Lil Uzi Vert. <laughs> Take a look. Don't give me the little kid issue. Y'all for real, because I'm telling you, I still be crying. I just cannot believe he just died. Like, he just died. Like, he just died. Like, what the fuck? Like... Bro, I was just in L.A. with you, bro. Like, what the fuck, bro? We was just in L.A. kicking it. Gunner was mad at us because I got the keys and we were riding the BP. Man, we were all in L.A. streets riding. Gunner was 38, but he know not to say that. Like, he was 38, but, like, in the inside, not the outside, because he ain't say that. But I was like, come on, Key, we figure out. Let's go to the club. Man, we was in the club. We in the club kicking it, like, kicking it. Kicking it. I said, that's crazy, bro. Like, for me to go out there and kick it with my boy, man. For the last time, I ain't even knowing that's going to be the last time I kick it with my boy. Man, Key done been through some shit. Like, I can tell y'all some stories. Like, man, Key done really been through some shit. I remember when Uzi little bitch had tried here. I would never forget that shit. Uzi tried Key. And I was so mad. And I was just like, I told Uzi, I was like, who the fuck? I said, bro, we ain't about to leave here. He was like, man, fuck that nigga. Fuck that nigga. And I was like, bro, you got me fucked up, bro. Go ahead on, bro. You can go on on, bro. We good, bro. I'm going to stay with Key. Then I mean, Key to get a flight and meet my brother. I ain't no way in here you think we been like all that wishy what wishy wash ass shit y'all nigga be on, bro. We ain't, that ain't how we do it over here on our, camp, on our team, bro. Like, we ain't like that, bro. And then we had on Randall Uzi cut. We, that shit was so funny. Like, <laughs> we was in that motherfucking hotel room. I would, I would never forget that shit. We ran Uzi cut the fuck up. Like, yeah, we had to stay there another day just so we could show Uzi to stop playing. I know Uzi was mad as fuck at all, but I ain't give a fuck. I was like, on to my man, we smoked that motherfucker. Ah, man, on to my that penthouse, that motherfucker was smoked. Ah. Not Uzi, yes, Uzi. Yes, Uzi. Uzi, yes, yes. Uzi and Cook, Uzi and Key got into it. I thought we was in San Francisco. Uzi and Key got into it. And then Uzi was like, he gonna call my phone like five o'clock in the morning. I think it was rolling loud. So it was something that was going on out there while everybody was out there. And then he called my phone. We had just got to the room. And then he was like, Come on, bro. We finna go get on the jet. And then I was like, all right, then I'm about to go wait on Key and Steve's up. And he was like, hell no, nah, bro. Hell no. Nah. Hell no, nah, bro. Them niggas grown, bro. We, we Them niggas grown, bro. I was like, what? I was like, what type of time you on? Who's the car? I ain't finna leave my, do my twins and shit. Like, what the hell you talking about? Why did, why did I tell on uh, Steve? Oh, my God. Steezy went 7 Thursday. Steezy was like, I punched that little nigga ass in his face. I beat that nigga ass. I'm like, what the fuck? But we all family though, y'all. We always we always argue. We always we always do this. Like we always argue and shit like that. So like don't don't think like I'm saying this like like I'm talking about somebody. Like, no. We we always argue. Like, man, who's it? I ain't speaking right now to this day. Like, I know you wanna check on me. You wanna make sure I'm okay because my brother, but I know I'm still mad at you. But yeah, we ran him off a car. Oh, when I tell you, man, I swear to God, if I had, if I could, if I could charge up my phone, man, we had the sweet room. I kid you, no lie. We had the sweet room. We had the sweet room. Shut up. Uh, we had the sweet room. I swear to God, the whole fucking wall. On one side of the, of the hotel were full with nothing but a fucking table, nothing but food. Like, 
We in that motherfucker with a whole pound of weed. We in that BJ getting high. I'm talking about stupid high. We just order no shit, man. Ooh, it like three days. It, no, it's like the third day don't go in there, but we about to get ready to go get on our flight. Uzi called. He called my phone. He like, hey, where the hell you at? I said, I'm still in San Francisco. Where you love me at? I ain't fucking leave you. I said, yes, you did. You love Key, so you love me. You love Steezy, so you love me. What the fucking cut? We finna charge this cut. Man, we charge the hell out that cut, man. I know for a fact, man. That motherfucking tail was like $10,000, man. We would eat on all kind of shit. We had the money for real. That shit was so funny. But we all talked about it and we got over it. Who's the most definitely be giving sassy, y'all? Hell yeah, I'm all cry my leg when I say that shit, bro. You ain't finna leave, bro. You think you finna leave my brother artist? All right, so I tell you what. You gonna get on your little jet. Your little eight passenger, 12 passenger jet. Whatever, how many passenger seat you got. And I stayed there with Key. And we were at that table. We were high here, but boy, when, when we got with twin them, boy, we were turned up backwards. We were lit. That shit was so crazy. Look, let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all about this little part, though. But when Uzi called him, like, yeah, you still out there in San Francisco? I'm like, hell yeah. But we about to get ready to leave. Why, when we leave, we get all the way to the airport and me and Key, me, Key and Steve Slow had missed our flight? Oh my god! So mind you, when you when the travel when the travel agency have to buy your when the travel agency um book your flight, like you can't you you can only just wait on the travel agency to to fix it. Like you can't unless you gonna pay pay with cash of your own to get a flight, and that shit probably be like eight hundred dollars, nine hundred dollars, probably twelve hundred dollars for a flight right then and there. So. We missed the flight. We sitting in that motherfucker high as fuck. Bro, I throw it away a whole fucking ounce of weed. I was so nervous. I was so nervous. I swear to God, bro. I was so nervous because that was my first time, like, flying. Like, you know, we, like, you know, that type of stuff. So I was so fucking nervous, but I throw the whole fucking thing away. Then we get another lady say, y'all can't get on your flight because we had, like, we ain't missed the flight, but we couldn't check our bag in because... The bags, the, all that shit. So either we were gonna have to leave the bags or just get another flight. I was mad about that because that was some good weed. Oh, I'm about to block you. Oh, you finna get blocked. And I'm finna go on my old phone and block you. I'll be alright for a minute, but I don't know. All right, and then, and then you got weak people. Like, you can't even express yourself because you got, like, some people on here. They ain't jail. They only been locked up for a week. They only been locked up for two weeks. Y'all act like they dead. They this, they dead. So what? They my fucking brothers. They my family, bro. All I know is family, bro. We family or to if we ain't nothing else. If we ain't had no money, we, we went rich. We ain't had shit else. We got family. We on, man. So, like, of course... I'm like the most crybaby sister, crybaby sister that out of all my mama kids. That's the first thing my brother done said. Like, tell Donna don't cry when I call her. She better not be crying. Even Brian said that shit. Brian was like, Dolly, your brother said he don't want you to be crying. Man, my little crybaby ass, I'm ready to kill, but I'm going to definitely go cry. Right here? No. Bad. Turn around. Who that? How I supposed to breathe with no air? Why, I, feel I mean, anybody that know me, if y'all really, if y'all really know, if y'all really know me, the whole little jail baby mom bitch, get out my pack. If y'all really know me, y'all know that, like, bro, we is very family origin, bro. I don't give a fuck about none, none of this shit, bro. You could take the music, you could take the fame, you could take all that shit. Just give my brothers, like, can, God, can you give me little red, color red you did 13 years? And, like, y'all trying to take more life out of him. Like, I don't get it.
But yeah, I miss my brother. All right, that's it for the video. I know it was a long one. Um, she went over a lot in this video, uh, but uh, most notably is the uh, young thug situation. Uh, she believes he's unfairly targeted and he will be free soon. Uh, and also he's being you know, mistreated in uh, the jail system right now. Uh, and says there's no uh, snitching going on uh, in the YSL camp. Um, so yeah, what are your thoughts on this? Uh, comment below. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm out. Peace. Now that the video's done, what are you still doing here? Did you already like, comment, subscribe? Then you're free to go. Uh, that's it. I don't know. I'm, I'm out. Nah, I'm, I'm serious. I'm leaving ya. Just like Lil Uzi did on his private jet. <laughs>